and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial on naming and organizing your project. Now I'm not going to go over how all of this is put together, we'll be looking at that in later tutorials, just to say that I've got two compositions, one composition nested inside another composition. This is often called a pre-composition, but I've got a Lindisfarne composition which consists of a picture of Lindisfarne and the name Lindisfarne, and that is inside my main composition which has got some music at the background and some 3D C or a, a video of C underneath. And that's all there is in this composition. Now, organization and naming are essential for After Effects projects. And it's because of this. If you work on a project and you don't name your layers and your items properly, then when you come back to that project a bit later on, you won't know what anything means or what anything does. So if you give intelligent names to all the layers that you use, you will know what they do, and when you come back to that project again later, it'll be easy to pick up. And even more importantly, if you hand this project over to somebody else, they'll be able to go through it and logically see all that you've done and all that you meant to do through the way that you have named your layers and used them. Now, for instance, I can add a layer to this composition. I can go Layer, New, and I can add something called an Adjustment Layer. Now an adjustment layer is a layer where you can apply an effect to change everything below it. So I'm going to apply an effect, I'm going to go Effect, Color Correction, and I'm going to go to Curves. And when it comes to the curves, I'm just going to give it a contrast shift by putting an S curve, which makes things a little bit more contrasty. Now I've done that on the adjustment layer, but all it says in my timeline is Adjustment Layer. How do I know what it's doing? So I can select the layer, I hit return or enter on my keyboard, and now I can change that name to my contrast effect. Hit return again, and that's entered in. And now we know what that layer is doing, it's got a name, and it's very obvious. OK, now the other thing is, I can name effects. I have added this curve to this adjustment layer that we've named contrast, but I can also change the name of the effect so I know what it is doing because I might have multiple effects applied and I don't know what they're all doing. So to do that, it's exactly the same process. You select the name of the effect, hit return or enter on your keyboard and type in the new name, contrast curve, hit return and it's renamed and you now know what that effect is actually doing. And you can do that throughout your project. Now notice that you can change the name of any layer down here. So let's change the name of this music layer. At the moment it's clear. It's obviously this one up here, clear vision. So we can select it and hit return and just call it music. And it's got a name. But also you can click on layer name. And when you click on layer name, it changes to source name. And source name is going to tell me the name that it has in the project as a whole. So, in the project panel, it is clear vision, and you can clearly say it's clear vision, and notice that our adjustment layer has gone back to just saying adjustment layer. Now, this is really helpful because you can toggle between the two, between the source name and between the layer name, i.e. the name that you've given it and what it originally came from or it originally was, so that you can see what you're working with and quickly and easily navigate to what's necessary. I'm going to go back at the moment to layer name just want to show you one other thing. In my composition you see that I've changed the music layer, as you can see originally it was Clear Vision, and I've changed it to Music, but Clear Vision has stayed exactly the same up here. But if I select it in my project panel and I rename it, uh, I'm going to call this one say um, Music 2, just to differentiate it from the other one, and hit Return. It hasn't changed the name of the original layer down here, but if I go to the source layer, you'll see that it now says Music 2. And that would have gone through any composition that used it. So, let's take 3DC. 3DC has not been changed from its original. I can change it here and it won't affect what's up here. But if I select it up here and change it, hit Return, call it Background C, hit Return. Background C will change for source name and layer name, it will also say it's background C because we haven't renamed it here. So the layer name will take it from the source panel unless we change it. So that's how I can name different tracks 
and also still see where they originally were. So that top layer we now know as an adjustment layer, but I've named it with its layer name as its contrast effect. However, there's one other part of organization which is absolutely essential, and that's the use of folders in your project panel. Because when you create a project, you can have hundreds of assets. So it's very important that you group them in a logical way so you can find them. Yes, you can type up here, and I could, for instance, type .wav, and all my music files will be selected. So you can find them, but it's much easier if you have them in folders. You create folders down here. You click on folder, and then you can start to create things so I can put pics for pictures. Hit return, and then all my JPEGs, which I've got a whole bunch of JPEGs here. I can hold my shift key to select those drag them and drop them in pics and now they're inside pics and I can have one for music so music hit return and then I can just use my control key to go through all my music so I've got music there music there don't need to have that selected but uh, there's music and drag those down to music oh and I've got some more JPEGs to hold my control key for a JPEG a JPEG and a JPEG they can all go into pics I've got music too, which needs to go into music, and I've got background C, which is actually an MPEG file or a movie file. So I can put MOV in here for movies, and then I can move my background into movies. And now I've also got compositions. I've got two compositions, so I can open up a new folder and put comps, and I can move my comps into my comp folder. And now I begin to have a very organized panel. And when I need to find my compositions, there they are. Or I need to find my pictures, they're all together. Or I need to find my music, there it is in one place. I can quickly navigate to it, select it, use it, and move it, and do whatever I need to do. So that's very briefly how you can organize your project panel so that you have a well-organized project so that when you hand it on to somebody else, they can quickly and easily find out exactly what's in the project and where it is without having to scroll through a whole long list of bits and pieces and also how you can name your layers and even rename the effects on your layers so that you know exactly what they're doing with logical and sensible names. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.